Greetings. You're watching part two of eight ways to enlist music worship leaders for your church. In this video, you'll find ideas three through five. Please, if you find this information helpful, feel free to share it with others. Click the thumbs up button below. And if you have any comments or questions, anything about music worship ministry in the church, please feel free to leave those questions and ideas in the comment section below. Now, we begin part two. A third way that you can find music worship leadership is by doing the old-fashioned survey. Sometimes this can be the printed out survey. Sometimes it can be a more informal survey where you just communicate with the people and talk with them one-on-one -on -one or in family groups, depending on the size of your church. And what you're looking for are people who have been involved in music. Do you have uh, children, youth, or adults who have taken piano lessons? Do you have members who have who used to sing in a high school chorus? Uh, people who participate in local bands, play guitars with local groups, um, any kind of musical involvement, musical theater, anybody who has any kind of musical outlet that they're already involved in could be great candidates for helping you in leading music in your worship ministry. I would suggest, however, as you find these music leaders, that you might perhaps give them an audition. Uh, you will want to find out their level. There are those who might would say they can play the piano, but they struggle to keep time or Someone who says they can sing and their mother loves their voice. Um, and we want to encourage them to sing and to play and find ways to encourage them. But they may not be the best fit for leading in your services, uh, particularly at this time. They, they might just need a little bit more training, a little bit more in practice. What else can I say? <laughs> a fourth way of finding music worship leaders for your church is to ask. Ask yourself, ask others in your congregation this simple question, who do you know? One church that I served, our uh, main accompanist, she was our organist, our choir accompanist, and one morning she did something that she had never done before. She called in sick. On Sunday morning, I get a phone call from her husband and, and he told me that she would not be able to make it that day. A little later, I was able to talk with her. One of the questions I asked her was, do you know anybody who can fill in? And she gave me the name of a lady who had played at that church several years before. They had moved on to another church, serving and working in other churches. But I gave her a call, and she was available to come and play for us that day. And then as our organist, accompanist, uh, found the bad news that she had cancer and went through those treatments and was out a lot sick, um, even to where at some point in that journey she passed away. But that lady that she had mentioned that Sunday morning continued to play the piano and served as my accompanist. Now, she wasn't an organist, but she was a piano player. Did a fantastic job at the piano. She and her husband came back into the church, got involved. And as far as I know, she's still serving by playing the piano in that church. So sometimes it pays to just simply ask somebody, who do you know? Find out who those people are who might could come and help you with your music in your church. The fifth thing is very similar to that, 
But instead of just asking the people in your church, perhaps you could go to local musicians, to uh, other people in your community, and ask them that same question. Do you know anyone who could help us with our music? Go to piano teachers. Go to uh, high school chorus leaders. Uh, go to local musicians, people who play in bands and um, just anybody that you would trust to know someone. If you have a community college close by or uh, anything like that, just find those musicians in your community and if perhaps they might be willing and able to help. But if not, maybe they know somebody who would be available and could come and help you in your church's music ministry. Thank you for watching part two of this video series. I hope you found it helpful or inspiring for finding other ideas. If you found this material helpful, please remember to click the thumbs up below. And if you have any questions, comments, ideas, leave those in the comment section below. You'll find links to all of these video series in the description below. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to move on to part three, click right up here. If you've missed part one or would like to view part one again, you can click the link here. Thank you so much. May God bless you in your music worship ministry.